The Buffalo Public Schools program is a decade-long district-wide schools reconstruction effort that will involve more than 60 K-12 schools in the city of Buffalo and nearly $1 billion in capital improvements. The program, however, will have significant impact on the Buffalo community far beyond the construction program. The Buffalo Public Schools program has been designed as a vehicle of much needed change for our community. The Buffalo Schools Project represents the promise of a bright and vigorous future for the Buffalo community with a focus on four critical ideals. The first of these ideals tasks us with creating safe, state-of-the-art facilities in which our children can enjoy wonderful educational opportunities, diverse cultural experiences, and superior health and social support services. Oh, I think, yes, I think it's there. I think it's gonna actually make a big impact on the children for their education because they're gonna make it uh, more enjoyable for them to learn. They're gonna have more, um, actually, more devices for them to use, uh, media, I'm, everything will be different and upgrade it so I think it'll definitely impact and make their learning a lot more fun. What this renovation project will mean is a uh, wise consolidation of the district into fewer buildings which will allow them to better manage them and better staff them and the learning environments that are be being created in these renovated schools are those that are for the 21st century. You know, the children, like I said before, who have been learned, that, who have been being educated in buildings that are 50 and 60 years old or haven't been touched for 50 or 60 years, are essentially walking into, for all intent and purposes, new buildings. The second of these ideals will result in the building of centers of excellence in every corner of our community. All of Buffalo's public schools will offer unparalleled environments for our children and their families. In addition to all those great things, we're trying to help our neighborhoods develop too. So what we would like to see happen is that along with the school renovation, we can help to spur economic development within the neighborhoods. So we've already gone five years and we have five years and five great years ahead of us. <laughs> so hopefully we could just do more of what we've already started to do. Uh, that means renovation of schools, it means diversifying the workforce, the business utilization, working along with the trades, and also helping our neighborhoods to grow. The third of the project's ideals will dedicate us to provide the resources to share our city's culture and its history, and to build new opportunities for the future. Our schools and neighborhoods will support each other as we grow and prosper. One example of our commitment is the support L.P. Simonelli gave to Brush Up Buffalo, a volunteer-based community development organization that annually paints houses for residents who could not afford to have the work done themselves. L.P. Simonelli provided logistics, supplies, transportation, staff, and money to the project that this year took place in the neighborhood that surrounds the Lovejoy District's Public School No. 43, currently undergoing complete renovation and expansion. L.P. Simonelli's dedication to the ideals of the school's program goes beyond the requirements of their contract and extends into the community in many ways, of which Brush Up Buffalo is just one example. For the Lovejoy District, also known as Iron Island, this is fantastic for the local community. There was talk of closing the school at one point, and the local district and all the residents of this area fought hard and were able to keep this school open. As long as we did a mass uh, reconstruction and large addition to house for the 21st century for the Buffalo Public School District. Eventually this will have a much larger enrollment and ideally many of the local students will come and go to school here versus right now they're being bused to other schools around because of uh, the, uh, this building being in a rather old way. I mean in addition to the faculty and and staff and students that attend this school, we're looking for the neighbors and the local community around the schools to look at this and to view it as an asset.
The fourth and perhaps most important of these ideals is that the Buffalo Public Schools program will act as a stimulus to propel Buffalo to become a community known for the quality of its educational and economic opportunities for all young people. We're also trying to encourage the use of minority-owned businesses and women-owned businesses, so that's a great part of the project. We had the cooperation of all the trades, so all trades are participating in the project and are signatory to our project labor agreement. We work with them on a regular basis to make sure that we're meeting our project goals. We also have a great uh, safety requirement, so we have a partnership with OSHA as well. Um, it actually it offers um, women a chance to get into more of the construction end of it because LP Simonelli actually has a program implemented where we require all the contractors working on the jobs to have minority. We have a percentage for minority and women business. Uh, we have, in order to, for them to bid, they have to have 25% minority, 5% women, and then once the contractors are awarded the jobs, they in turn, have, and their workforce actually working on the job, have to have 23 and 7. Over the 10-year lifespan of the project, culminating in 2012, the City of Buffalo will experience the extraordinary changes that will transform our children's educational opportunities, our public schools, our neighborhoods, and the city itself. L.P. Simonelli is proud to be a part of that transformation, and we look forward to fulfilling the promise of that bright future for all of Buffalo and its children.